Hello, welcome YouTube, I'm Esther Ryan, this is Modded Minecraft, and we have got all kinds of goodies, if you look at like, in the inventory from last episode, we've got all kinds of decent stuff, gold, tin, sapphires, rubies, but most importantly, we have 10 diamonds, which means, if we look at sort of the to-do list on the back of the wall, we can actually get going on this now. So. Let's not waste any more time. Uh, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into the Project E uh, mod pack to an extent. And the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get the dust. Now that's definitely the first thing to do. Now if you remember there were three different types of dust. We've got different types of covalence dust. Low, medium and high. Uh, now let me just quickly, I've got a load of cobblestone in here which is just basically wasting loads of space in my inventory. There we go. Ah, so much better. Now, first of all, uh, we've got to get the low convenience dust. And to do that, we need lots of cobblestone, which I've just put in the chest, typically, and some charcoal. Not coal, but charcoal. So let's just quickly pop an oak wood in there, like so. That'll cook up. We'll just take half a stack of... Well, I'll take this. That's all we need. Uh, wait for this to do. Here we go. Like so. Pop. There we go. And we just take this into a crafting table, it was charcoal, and then loads of cobblestone all the way around it. Like that. And there we go. 40 covalence dusts. Very good indeed, these. That's the first one. Now we need medium covalence dust. This was a little bit, actually, to be honest, easier. Redstone and iron. Now we've got some iron ingots that we were smelting down uh, at the bottom. So I'll pop one in there. And we also dug up a load of redstone. So there we go. 40 medium covalence dust. So that's number two. Now the hard one to get was the high covalence dust, and that's what it is, is a diamond and some coal. Now luckily we got loads and loads of diamonds, so let's pop one in there, and we've also got some coal. There we go. We have all three types of covalence dust going from easy all the way to high. Now the next thing we need to make is an, uh, this is an alchemical chest. Remember we had loads of fun trying to pronounce that last episode, but we think it's an alchemical chest, so let's go into here. Now we need a few different pieces to do that. We need one of each dust, luckily we just made those. We need some regular stone, so that's cooked up stone. We need a diamond, a chest, and some iron. Now, one thing that we do need, unfortunately, is it's still daytime outside. Yes, we need some more wood. So let's just quickly, um, uh, we need a bit more wood than this, I think, going forward. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly build myself uh, some sticks, and we'll get myself, um, we use the amethysts, shall we? Make myself a decent axe. There we go. Let's just pop outside and quickly grab a tree or two. You can see over there in the distance, the village. Look, it's funny. You can see it when I put it to the side, but if I look directly at it, then it vanishes. There it is. And it's gone. And there, and gone. Odd that, just the way the Minecraft view distance works. Um, now we've got a load of trees over here. There's a nice looking sort of a, is that a birch tree over there? So we won't, we won't knock that one down will do is knock some of these regular ones down. Here we go, Amethyst Axe. Now this, as you remember, is it's basically an iron axe, but it lasts maybe three, four times as long, which is fairly handy. So let's just quickly pick up a tree or two. Oh, much faster. You're having to punch those trees down right at the start of the playthrough. You always miss that about regular Minecraft, I think. When you first make a world and you've got to punch down a few trees, it's funny how already we're using Amethyst amethyst edged blades and, and all kinds of sort of rubbish like that. Very odd like that. There we go, that'll be enough. We don't need too much. Um, right, let's sprint. There we go. I know we don't want to be sprinting too much because we're going to be running out of food. Come on, Mr. Cow. We can do with some more food. Ah, come back up. There we go. He's down. Cow tipper. A bit harsh, isn't it? Never mind. Okay, one or two more. There seem to be infinite amounts of cows out here. Definitely a sort of cow spawning biome. There we go, that'll do. Uh, we left the door open. It's not very clever. Oh, a little little squid. He's having a great time. Look at him. Look at him go. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to be looking up there. Looking up the squid skirt. Not very nice at all. Right, in we go. So, uh, pop the leather and the saplings and all these kinds of things we don't particularly need. Now we need to cook up some stone, so let's just, how much do we need, was it two? So we can just plonk a, a plank of wood or two in there, let's have a quick look, remind ourselves, oh energy condenser notes, the alchemical chest. Right, first of all we need a regular chest, so let's do that. 
get ourselves just one more thing of wood. There we go. Like so, and we've got a chest. Now we've got two iron ingots, we've got the diamond, we've got the dust. So all we need is the, there we go, two stone. And let's see if we can remember how we make it. I think it was the two iron at the bottom of that. We have a diamond in the middle. We have the stone either side of that. And we have the dust on top like so. There we go, our chemical chest. Fantastic. Now let me show you what one of these looks like. If I, uh, let's just get rid of this wood. Plop this down. We'll put it down here just so we can compare it to the regular chest. Now this is two chests stacked on top of each other and you can see each chest contains, is it 27? 27 ingredients in. One alchemical chest. Look at all that. That is a ridiculous amount of items. So it's 14 across and it's 8 down which as quick hit maps for me is 112 items I think. So it's effectively um, four chests, maybe a little bit more than that. So this is an amazingly good chest. Now, not only is it a really uh, impressive chest, but it also works with a lot of other Project E bits and pieces, including one of these repair talismans. Let me just show you this quickly. We've got any string? We do have some string, fantastic. Now, from memory, the repair talisman was, oh, we need two string to do that. All right, we can't make one of those just yet. We'll, we'll, we'll add it to our list of stuff to do a bit later. Actually, you know what? Let's just pop the sign up now. This would be really good to do. Right, what was it called again? It was called a repair... Uh, repair... Talisman. And to get that, we need string. And we need paper. There you go. Awesome. Right, let's do that so we don't forget a bit later. Now, we don't need the chemical chest for now. There we go. Beautiful. Now, the reason we built one of those, it's not just a, an impressive chest, but it's also one of the necessary steps for the energy condenser. Now, the energy condenser is a load of obsidian, a load of diamonds, and then the alchemical chest itself. Now, the obsidian is a little bit more of an issue. We don't want to have to build a, a diamond pickaxe pointlessly, although we might need a diamond pickaxe anyway. Let's just double check. We, we need four diamonds, three for the pickaxe, and then a spare one. So actually, you know what? We can actually afford a diamond pickaxe if we want to, but we were going to try and do the, the sort of a different way of getting obsidian, weren't we? So let's just try this out, obsidian. Now, from memory, there we go, water cells. So to make a water cell is in it. So it looks like we need a few empty cells. So tin in a sort of square, wasn't it? There we go, let's go like that. There you go, some empty cells. Splendid. Now, what we will do is we will just stick a few bits in here of sort of low on inventory space. So let's just keep it all up here for now. Don't want to be taking diamonds down with us. Right, now the cells. Can we just fill these up with water? Oh, we can, splendid. Right, that's two cells full of water. Those are in my inventory there. And they stack really well as well, which is awesome. Uh, what we do need though, is we need, oh, <laughs> it's, it's like a game of chicken, is it? How far can you fall? before you wimp out. Right, now, we need to take these cells all the way down to the end. And if I remember, we had a second pool of lava in the new chasm that we just found down here. So we go all the way down. You see, there's lots of ore. There's tons and tons and tons of ores down here. And we will, I promise we will come down and get these once we've, uh, once we've found a use for them. Here we go. Here we go. Right, splendid. Now, can we use this just to pick up the lava? Yes, we can. You know what? Actually, a few cells of lava isn't a bad idea. Let's just scoop up as much as we can. Mmm, very tasty. There we go. Right, we've got 14 cells of lava. Fantastic. Now, we can use that lava a little bit later, fingers crossed, to uh, fuel various furnaces and engines and all kinds of bits and pieces. Uh, it works a much better fuel than coal. So here we go. Anyway, right, let's just quickly go back to the top. And here we are back. Oh my god, as I came up the stairs from the mine there, I just heard this horrible noise. And look, look at him. What are you doing trying to get in? Right, get out of my door. Come on. Off you go. Ah, oh, there's a second. Ah, oh, it's a zombie invasion. Monster hunter. Except wherever I find. Right, okay. 
Now what I did while I was down at the pit is I just sort of picked up everything in the various furnaces. We've got lots of ingots. Look at all these ingots up here. Splendid. 25 tin ingots. That's all very good. Um, we've also got a load of ores up here. So we'll, we'll sort of put, sort that all out in a second. Now, most importantly, we've got our 14 lava cells. Well, do we need that many cells? Probably not, but it's always good to have them. And here we go. We can make a block of obsidian. Now, we need a few of these, don't we? We need four obsidian. So I think I've got enough lava, but what we don't have is we don't have enough water. So let's just quickly make some more cells. Like so. May as well sleep if we can. Let's just get rid of the night. Like so. Ah, very good. Right. Awesome. Let's go pick up some more water quickly. Now, we don't want to drain the lake of water, so we'll just let the, the water blocks fill. Like so. Nice endless source of water for us there. There's no point keeping any of these spare blocks to hand. There we go. Right. Lots of cells. I have a feeling... Can I put these cells down? Do they act as buckets? No, I can't use them as buckets. Ah, fair enough. I thought you might be able to. Um, can I put the lava cells in as fuel? I wonder if that would work. We'll try that in a bit. Right, um, so we've got all these cells here. And all that there. Right, we need four obsidian, don't we? One, two, three, four. There we go. That's all we need. Actually, you know what? We'll make one spare, and I'll show you why in a second. There we go. Five got some lava cells spare and we've got everything we need right so let's just take the alchemical chest and we'll was it I think it was obsidian around the corners like so and I put the diamonds in the blooming chest right here we go oops right there we go let's try again in the corners the alchemical chest that the diamonds around the edges aha here we go an energy condenser condense the world now the energy condenser is the just I guess if we if we just put the project D up again project there we go the energy condenser is essentially the core of the whole mod pack and I'll show you why now just like in our chemical chest the energy condenser has a lot of space in it but what it also has is this bar at the top and a small space up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plonk a diamond up there. Now, did you see, it didn't actually use up one of my diamonds. It's essentially just sort of looking, right, now that's the thing to copy. And what it does is the energy condenser breaks down materials into its very, sort of the very energy that makes it up, and it reforms it into whatever you want. Now, if you remember me mentioning, everything has an EMC, or a lot of things have an EMC. Look, you can see the coal has an EMC 1,208. 1,128, what am I talking about? Diamonds, for instance, have 8,192. Now, the EMC is essentially the energy value of how important or how much stuff goes into making one of these. So, if I just sort of take this out here, if I put something like cobblestone, which is an EMC of one, let's just put a little stack of that up there, and I take, uh, let's just take, for instance, a tin ingot, which has an EMC of 256, and I plonk one in there, then what happens is it breaks that down. So it's broken down 256 of energy, and it's now producing cobblestone. And as you can see, because cobblestone is worth 256 times or less, it's going to make four stacks of the cobblestone. So this, the, the energy condenser, is a really, really good way of converting one stuff to another. Now, I, I hear you shouting at the screen now, is that cheating? Well, to an extent, yes. Certain bits are, like cobblestone, wood, that sort of thing, that has very low EMCs. If I just take one diamond and, and throw it in the energy condenser, then it will get me a huge stack of cobblestone. The, the way that it isn't cheating is if I go the other way. If I try and make cobblestone into diamonds, I would need, well look, you can see a stack of, of, of cobblestone is only 64. So I'm going to need over 100 stacks of cobblestone to make one diamond. So the good thing is that when it comes to building materials, and when we look at here, planning our envision, envisioning our takeover of a village. If we're going to do some big builds, build ourselves a nice house, maybe sort of, you know, big, big warehouses and, and, and sort of factories and that sort of thing, the energy condenser is a really, really good way of building the, the, the raw materials that we need to, to do that sort of thing, which is fantastic. 
The bad bit is if we need to use it to make anything decent, then it's very, very tricky. So for instance, we're gonna make a diamond and I'll show you just how much stuff. Now what this will do is it'll grind back up all of the cobblestone into making a diamond. You can see, look, the bar here, it just starts to fill up. But you can see, even if I chuck all of the cobblestone, we'll just take some of the spare chunks of cobblestone we've got in here. If I chuck all of that in, it's barely scratching the surface. It, it really does, it would take far too much stuff to make this sort of even worth doing. So, I mean, yes, is it cheating? Maybe, but it, it sort of cheats to an extent that is, is you, you do genuinely have to get a lot of high value stuff. So for instance, if I take, we've got much spare coal at the moment. Uh, no, maybe coal isn't the sort of thing. We've got some silver. Silver doesn't really have much of a cheat. So if I take uh, nine ingots of silver and chuck that in, do you see? That made nine silver goes into about half a diamond. So we'll use some more. We'll, we'll chuck some tin in there. Ten tin ingots. Not quite. We'll just chuck a few more tin. There we go. And hey presto, we've made ourselves a diamond. So that's what the energy condenser is there for. It, it's a really, really good way of doing bits and pieces like that. Um, otherwise, I mean, it, it's sort of... It has pros and cons, but that, that's sort of the, the main reason for it. Now, well, now that we've got the energy condenser, it means that we can we can really have a bit more flexibility with how we make stuff. Now, one thing that we need to do as well is I'm going to make myself an al alchemical bag. Uh, and to make one of these, we need some bone meal. Oh, no, hang on. That's not the original one. How do we make the original alchemical bag? It's just that uh, if I go onto the energy condenser... No, hang on. This one, used in. Ah, here we go. So, effectively, an alchemical chest with some high covalence dust and some wool makes one of these alchemical bags. Now, this is definitely a good thing to do. So, what I'll do is I'll just show you this quickly. Um, okay, we'll make ourselves another... Now, we need two alchemical chests. Not one, but two. And I'll show you why. But actually, we'll make ourselves... We'll make ourselves one. So, remember? Cobblestone. In the furnace. Uh, can we burn some ladders up? You can't burn ladders, unfortunately. Never mind. Um, let's just get some wood out. Like so. Make some planks. Like that. Okay, make some stone up. Uh, what else do we need? We needed two iron bars. We needed uh, the dust. There we go, like that. And we needed a chest, didn't we? So let's just quickly get some more planks out. There we go. Oh! Didn't mean to put a plank there. There you go. Chest. Fantastic. Beautiful. Right. Uh, let's get the stone out. And then it was a chest. It was two stone here. Iron there. A diamond. And then and that was the diamond that we just made from all the tin and silver. And there we go. Now chemical chest. And the good thing is, is that we can save ourselves having to craft it again by sticking the alchemical chest in there and putting stuff of sort of relatively high value in. So if I were to chuck um, so a few more ingots of silver in and put a diamond in there, there we go, we've made ourselves an alchemical chest. Uh, what I can do is I can put like a relatively low value thing like copper in there and I could just use that to, to, there we go, just to get all the excess energy that was in there. It also means, if I just show you Chris, if I put co copper and I put an ingot of tin, I can turn copper into tin. So you can change ingots around. It's a very, very handy thing to do. Um, so we've got our, our two alchemical chests. Actually, you know what? I'll make a third quickly while we're here. There we go. And put some copper in there. There we go, like that. Right, we've got three alchemical chests now. Now, the reason I'm doing that is if I quickly just take some more wood, what we're going to do is we're going to start a sort of original copies chest. Now, if I just shove this in the corner and make another chest, there. what we can do is we can keep this chest specifically for high value items and keep one of each of it. So there's a diamond, there's an obsidian, we'll keep one of each of the different types of dust in here. Just, just one copy of everything so that if we ever need more of it, we can always come back to this chest and get it, if that makes sense. So there we go, that's just a few bits. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that outside of episodes. Now, we need a lot more wool. And I remember wool was a little bit of a problem for us. So what we can do is we can get two iron ingots. So we can get ourselves a pair of shears. 
here we go right now let's go look for some sheep now if I remember the sheep were sort of over in the distance weren't they but they were over here so what we'll do is I will just go out and we'll, we'll cut cut to the sheep so I'll see you in a second well here we go we've made it back to the swamp quite a little way away if I sort of page down a little bit you can see just how far away we are from the red dot which is where our house is um, so we, we've just walked back to this swamp that we were at before and I've turned this really badly the sun is now unfortunately setting so we're gonna have to get in get out get the sheep and we're gonna have to try and make it back to base in the middle of the night so unfortunately there could be a few monsters here and we're in a swamp as well at night which isn't the best place to be at night but never mind oh Oh, a slime. Oh, hang on. This is good. We, we could use some slime stuff. There we go. Got zombies as well. Ugh, ugh, get off. Get off. Ugh, ugh. There we go. Right, we've got a slime or two. That's really handy. That's sort of a, a substance that we could be using a little bit later in the game, actually. Now, keep an eye out. Can you see any sheep? Loads of animals over here. Loads of animals, but no sheep. Is a skeleton having a little swim? Where are you, sheepy? Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. No, not over here. Oh, lots of, it's a birch forest over there, which is pretty cool. Um, hmm. I remember just how far these sheep were to find. Right, let's take down this, this rude dude over here. Get off you. Ah, I, I hate walking through these vines. These vines are are terrible for walking through because it makes you. Oh, oh God! Ah, it makes it, it sounds like a creeper. Let's just have a little bite to eat quickly. I'm running low on food. I really didn't think about this. What I'm going to just kind of use the shears to cut some vines. There we go, like that. There we go. There we go. Now it's good to have some vines actually. Uh, and then we can we can mass produce those if we need and it'll just add to sort of the aesthetics of the house uh, When we come to build one so oh God all the skeletons in the swamp I don't like skeletons. Oh hang on. Is that a sheep? That is a sheep Here we go. Om nom nom nom. Ah! Ah, we're getting we're getting ambushed. Right, come on. Come here you rude dude. Don't shoot the cow. Oi! Terrible. Here we go. Right, we're good. Right, we've got our wool. We've got the our, uh, we've got the energy condenser, so we can make some more wool. So now what we've got to do is skedaddle back to home, so we can avoid this. Oh god, we're being being shot on our way out. Oh, terrible! I tell you what, we will do actually. This is a rubber tree. You can see that rubber wood. Oi! Get off me! Hang on, these rude dudes are not going to not going to leave me here. Come on, out of the way, out of the way! Bang, bang, bang! Right, come on. Now you take you down. There we go. Oh God, is there more than one creeper? No, that was ah. Oh, for God's sake, so many enemies. Right, quickly get the rubber wood. Oi! Get off! What are you doing? Right now, the rubber wood has dropped. This quickly, sticky resin. Oh my God! Look at how many arrows I've got on me. Uh, let's get rid of those seeds quickly. There we go, I've got the sticky resin, that's all I need. Right, now back to home as quick as I can. Owlgy. Ugh. Oh, I don't think there's gonna be any more enemies. Right, I'll see you back at base. Right, phew, we made it back. My god, literally so many skeletons and creepers. You can see like I've taken out I've taken a few hits. I mean, <laughs> look at that. That is not a good look, is it? I think we uh that wool was very hard earned, but now we've got the wool, we can we can use the energy condenser to, to synthesize a few more of them. And fingers crossed, we should be in a good position. So thank you very much for watching me. Next episode, we will we'll, we'll make some of those bags I was telling you about. And we can take a quick look at our, our to-do list, and we can come up with some more ideas and then sort of delve into the mod pack a little further. And we can actually start to look at building a house outside of this little cave. Um, which should be good. We don't want to. We don't want to stay in this little, little damp cave for any longer than we have to be. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.